amazing. All right, gang, how are we doing today? I uh, just wanted to hop on here. I'm trying out a new uh, enclosure for my GoPro right here. It's in an aluminum enclosure and it's supposed to help with any overheating issues. Being out here in Southern New Mexico, it gets pretty hot. So I'm testing this out. I've already used the GoPro uh, Hero 7 Black a couple times in the hiking videos you've probably already seen. But we're gonna test this out around the neighborhood because I would hate to go out and start recording on a hiking trip and when I'm done realize that I lost all my footage because uh, some overheating issues. So I'm gonna take care of that by doing a test run right now. Just an update on the over 50 and fat series that I did. It's been about five, six days since uh, that ended. I'll admit that I did cheat the first day. Started walking, walked about a mile, turned around, came home, and took the day off. <laughs> Not gonna lie. So, but other than that, I have used the weights about uh, two, two times in the last five or six days. I've done my 15 minute workout about three of the days out of the five or six days, but I've mainly been concentrating on walking. As you can see by the videos up in the mountains, and I'll be doing more of those after this test run. I'll talk to you in a bit. Well, all right, all right, all right. Getting a good workout in, half mile in. I think I'll start calling these little video vlogs my boring life <laughs> because my life has been extremely boring from what it used to be. I did have a job interview today. It seemed to have went well. Um, I got laid off back uh, at the end of March during the pandemic. And um, since then, been applying, nothing. Obviously, right after the pandemic, pretty much everything shut down. So I started doing videos on YouTube about six, seven months after I got laid off. And uh, was still applying, but really have been going hard these last couple months since um, everything seems to be opening up again. But, seems like employers are really hesitant on hiring or just not hiring as much. So I've been just putting in a lot of job applications and I put one in for this company at the beginning of March. And yesterday they finally uh, called and I uh, picked it up they said oh sorry we've been really busy do you have time for a quick interview right now I'm like sure so my quick interview lasted about a half hour and then she pushed it up uh, the ladder to the next person and the uh, next person called about 15 minutes after that first interview and had more of an informal interview for about another half hour after that and following that she told me she was going to set me up with an interview with the big boss person uh the manager and um had that this morning like i said it felt it went well 
you never know anymore. She had told me at the end of the interview that she was going to pass her notes back to the people I talked to the day before. And I failed to mention today was a video interview, so we actually saw each other rather than a phone interview. So I will be waiting to hear back from one of the two people I talked to yesterday. If I don't hear anything by Monday, I'll go ahead and uh, shoot a follow-up email, see if they forgot me, or <laughs> or I didn't get the job. One of the, one of the two. At least I just want to be. I just want to someone to let me know. But that's what's going on as of today in my boring life. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. So far, the aluminum case uh, casing that I got for the GoPro seems to be doing just fine. It doesn't feel like there's any overheating issues and the temperature right now is pushing 100. We're about, oh, I don't know, a mile and a half in right now. So we're gonna keep pushing it probably gonna do three to four miles today because I got nothing better to do in my boring life <laughs> anyways my mom who's 87 years old has been talking that she wants to go to Vegas one more time so if I get the job the job starts uh, I believe it was June 14th so I would have to shoot out there before then. Um, she doesn't want to fly anymore. So the points on my Southwest uh, uh, Airlines profile will be, have to be saved for something else. But she said she can handle the drive. It's a 10 and a half hour drive. Hey puppy. So, usually that dog comes chasing after you, but not today. It's about a 10 and a half, 11 hour drive from where I live. But she said she can handle it, she's good. She said she can sleep in the car. We can, uh, the scooter that you've probably seen her riding around with in, in the over 50 and fat, let's take a walk videos. Um, is a portable scooter. It breaks down into three pieces so we can take that with But we'll see what happens If I d if we do go Hey, my boring life won't won't be so boring for that weekend And that would probably be the first weekend in June Now if I don't get the job probably push it back to third or fourth weekend in June but it'd be something nice to do a little improvement on the excitement level in my life right now <laughs> I'm not complaining hey I got um, mid 50s and I can still walk up a mountain although I'm dead tired afterwards but still can do it so that's a good thing all right let's keep walking check out that beauty that is something sweet Whew. Coupe de Ville, Cadillac. Awesome. That is crazy awesome. I 
think I heard actually an alarm go off on the house, like one of those ring doorbell alarms just for, for looking at it. <laughs> I'm still on the sidewalk. <laughs> hey, so let me get your opinion on this one. If you look at the last couple hiking videos, I was wearing the helmet cam, which, uh, I mean, it looks funny, it's cool. But I'm wondering, maybe that's just something that should be left for um, if I get to do anything crazy in my life, like skydiving or, or bungee jumping, <laughs> something like that. So, do you think I should stay with the helmet cam when I'm doing those hikes? Or are you fine with uh, a camera like this that I just hold off to the side? while I'm walking and talking. <laughs> you let me know in the comments. But camera shell is still holding up strong, not feeling any, any heat. I also, also changed the uh, micro SD card because I did some reading on Hero 7 Black's overheating and it said if you were using an old SD card that's probably one of the problems, obviously, besides the heat outside. But yes, I was using an old SD card that was probably at least 10 years old. So I did upgrade. I got 100 and, uh, 124, 100, is it 124? Yeah, 124 gig card. So I have about eight hours worth of recording I can put on it. In HD, if I jump it up to 4K, it drops it down to about two or three hours. And also, when it's on 4K, the battery burns up really quick with the hyper smooth stabilization. So I just run it in the HD 1440, just so I can get a little bit more time out of it before I have to change batteries and stuff like that. Awesomeness. All right, here we go, some more. We're at about three miles. It looks like this is uh, turning out to be about four and a half mile walk. I'll let you know at the end. All right, so I forgot to mention that this new um, shell for the GoPro also has a UV lens in front of it. So I wanted to test that out too, see if that does anything. Might do nothing. <laughs> but just uh, seeing how it works out, maybe if there's a glare from the sun, maybe it'll uh, tone that down a bit. But we shall see. And it looks like I'm getting close to home. I'm like a quarter of a mile from home and looks like I am uh, doing about four and a half miles, which um, it's good to go. Still, still feeling the shell and the camera feels fine. So I don't think I'm gonna have any problems whatsoever with this. So that's good news. But hey, once again, I'm Chris. Thanks for joining me here on my channel, Amazing Fun, Fit, and Travel. The reason why I have so many things, Fun, Fit, and Travel, is that way I'm not limited to just doing one thing. <laughs> and right now, I'm into the travel part with the hiking. I just got done with the fitness part with the 30-day challenge. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and call this the first episode of my boring life <laughs> we'll see you'll know when you look at the title but either way it's always exciting to get on here and talk to you guys I hope you guys enjoy it please make sure you like share comment and subscribe and maybe if I get enough like shares comments and subscriptions I could monetize the channel and then my my uh, 
life won't be so boring and we can do more exciting things <laughs> together rather than just walking. <laughs> Anyways, you guys take care and you have a wonderful rest of your day. Wink. Bye-bye <laughs> now. <laughs>